Good morning. So today we're going to do a van tour of my adventure van, Bart. <laughs> he is a 2012 Chevy Express cargo van with a V8 engine. Uh, it's got about 130,000 miles on it. It's about 14 miles to the gallon. All right, here's the front of the van. Coming around to the driver's side. I have no windows on the driver's side. Coming around the back. I have a bike rack, which comes in handy, and uh, let's open up and see what's in the back. All right, in the back of the van here, I got my guitar hanging there. Got some of those plastic plastic drawers. There is my camp chair, very comfortable camp chair. <laughs> I love that. And I took those plastic covers off the doors there, and I kind of put some wood there. And on the windows here, I got Reflectix. On that side, I just glued some magnets to help keep it up there. And then on this side, that is just duct tape with, uh, looks like wood, <laughs> wood duct tape. And it took about a half a roll for that side and then another half a roll for that one. All right, we're here on top of the van. I have two 100 watt solar panels. Those are Renogy solar panels. All right, coming inside the van here. All right, so right behind the driver's seat here, I have my batteries. Those are two 6-volt AGM Full River batteries. I got them wired together in series, which is from the positive post of the one battery to the negative post of the other. So my two 6-volt batteries make a single 12-volt battery. And I used two-gauge wire to connect them. So this is a Renogy Adventurer Solar Charge Controller. It's got a USB port right here for your phone. It's got a button here where you can kind of sc scroll through your bolts and everything you need to know there. And then it has a plug in the bottom of it that goes up. I have it going up through there. It's right there with that light. And what you can do there is on your phone, download the app and you can see where your voltage is and how much power you have left in your batteries. All right, moving down underneath the desk here. This is my fuse box that I have my lights going to and my fan in the roof. And then down here is the main off and on switch. All right, so this is my desk area where I spend a lot of time. I have a ukulele hanging there. I got a little travel guitar that hangs right there. Got a little mini amp and then uh, these speakers, which is really nice if I want to jam. To a backing track on youtube i just uh on my phone pair up the speakers with the phone and then i can play to backing tracks it's, it's really it's really enjoyable let's see yes yeah, so under here i got a little trash can a little dr plastic drawer here and you know everybody has a drawer full of wires and <laughs> electronics and stuff and i just have guitar cords in there but yeah this is a nice little spot so on the divider here, I have cork board, like bulletin board up there. And then I have some here and some here. Then I just kind of use that to hang up a map of the area I'm trying to explore. And it comes in real handy. And down here is the bucket. I got a swivel seat on it. So when I'm sitting at the desk, I can swivel over to the, over to the stove when I need to. And of course... The bucket doubles as a toilet seat. And then you throw a plastic bag in there, 13-gallon plastic bag in there, and do what you got to do. All right, moving over to the kitchen here. I have a Coleman One Burner propane camp stove. Uh, this thing is great. I love this. It um, You can put heavy pots on it. It doesn't really go anywhere. It's, it's very sturdy. I've had it for years now. And that runs off of down here i have a one gallon propane tank that i got from amazon i have the tank connected to the stove through my shelving system here just drilled some holes so i have it coming out here works out great in this drawer here we got forks spoons i got a can opener in there good sharp knife you got a pot there, 
collapsible dishware, measuring cup, spaghetti strainer, baggies, stuff like that. So above the stove here, I got a paper towel holder, a spice rack, and eventually I do want to put some more spice racks here. Maybe some more there. Just haven't gotten around to it. So I do have a fridge. It's a Dometic fridge that I honestly don't use that often. I probably could have got away with just a cooler with ice, but uh, I already bought it, so I'm going to use it. So I have it on a piece of wood here that I mounted those things you put underneath of your furniture so you can kind of slide your furniture easily, <laughs> um, you know, across your rug. And I bought this rug here from Home Depot that just kind of goes here. And then I uh, attached this strap to the wood there. So when I want to access my fridge, I can just kind of slide that out. It actually works pretty well. Slides out nice and smooth. All right, so over here, I have my shelf. That pops up like that. There's the hinges under there. And it works out really great. It is a little, little bendy there, but I fixed that problem with my trekking pole here. So there it is with the uh, trekking pole under here. It's very, very sturdy. Works out great. Gives me a lot of room to cook, look at maps. And yeah, really, really comes in handy. All right, so the shelf system here. I had this built. I built everything in this van except for this shelf. I, <laughs> I made an attempt to build a shelf myself and it lasted a couple months. And it was terrible. So I got rid of it and I had had a carpenter do this for me. So yeah. Anyway, so let's start from the top down. So I got my <coughs> got, excuse me, got my watch here, which doubles as a clock on the wall. Uh let's see carbon monoxide detector. Here is the coffee area. Uh, I got my tea kettle in there and coffee and my funnel. I got some mason jars back in there full of lentils and rice and stuff like that. And then here is my food basket. Let's see if I can pull this down. Here, you know, just uh, normal stuff, pepper, uh, soy sauce, raisins, a lot of rice, canned stuff. And then over here, you know, I got a cooking pan, a ceramic cooking pan I actually use a lot. And then underneath there is a cast iron. For when I'm out in the woods, I want to cook on cast iron. There's some uh, paper plates. And so let's move down into here. Get some light in there. So this here's kind of a junk drawer <laughs> where everybody has a junk drawer at home. All kinds of lighters and a knife and an inhaler. <laughs> my uh, headlamp. I got some hooks over here. That's where my, my keys live so I don't lose my keys let's see there's my little gopro it's one of them lucy lights little fan usb comes in really handy all right so this guy here is a ninja bat portable battery which is nice i can take it outside if i want to use it outside it's got your 120 volts here right there and then you got your usb ports here and if i want to charge it from my solar panels I have a 12 volt cigarette lighter there and I have that running to my fuse box, to my batteries. So if I want to charge my portable battery station here for my solar panels. Yeah, I love it. And then let's see. So these are my batteries for my little mini amp. When I want to play electric guitar, I can charge them up. And then this here is a 400 watt power inverter when I want to use 120. And then this is just the remote for my uh for my lights. All right, so from this shelf over to here, it's got my little mini amp there. This is a drone, little drone. Get some light in there. Let's see, this these are binoculars for bird watching. Then the speakers, more speakers. This is a DVD player for when I don't have, uh, <laughs> if I don't have internet access, I can watch DVDs. 
And then these are my books that I like to keep. I have, uh, this is all I'm letting myself keep because <laughs> I do like to have books if I'm somewhere and there's no service. I tend to read more in a, yes. So, okay, from there, let's go down here. This shelf here, it's basically water. I got water in here, paper towels. This is like the water and paper towels uh, shelf. And then this little shelf here is kind of the keep clean shelf. I got toothpaste, toothbrush, Dr. Bronner's soap. You should read that. It'll, it's kind of trippy if you read that. <laughs> the Dr. Bronner's uh, <laughs> logo there. Got hand sanitizer. Um, you know, stuff you need. I got a cutting board here for when I'm cooking. And uh, let's see, over here, this is just the clothes uh, shelf. That's basically all clothes. Let's see. And then down here, I already showed the, uh, the one gallon propane tank there. This is uh, white vinegar. This is what I use to clean my dishes. And this goes right on top of my stove. I turn that on and then uh yeah it really warms the uh warms the van up great yeah i'm really really happy with it all right so this milk crate down here is where i keep my lovely toilet seat <laughs> some extra uh extra fuel down in there and then this guy it's basically all outdoor equipment i have bivvies in there and some tarps and tents and stuff like that water bladders and so yeah that is the shelf system over here this drawer here it's just miscellaneous got a first aid kit in there and these are just some bandanas and this is the map drawer down here that likes to pop out <laughs> but these are all maps map drawer this is the stove drawer well it has rubber bands in it too but <laughs> backpacking stoves little backpacking stoves so on the walls and the ceiling i have wood paneling and i have foam board insulation on the walls and for the ceiling i use cotton a type of cotton insulation so i went with the wood paneling because i wanted to go for the whole lodge or log cabin kind of feel so on the ceiling i have two led lights and each one is actually two lights and four all together so here is the bed i built the bed myself this is some kind of foam i got from joanne's fabrics i think right there and then i just have this comforter kind of on top works out pretty good i can access underneath the bed over here so under here i got my tent i got my table for camping all kinds of there's seven gallons of water capacity in my toolbox emergency kit all kinds of stuff and i still got a lot of room in here for uh additional purchases like i'm thinking about getting a kayak one of them foldable kayaks or blow up kayaks there's a lot of storage under the bed yeah, and so my pillow here is actually good storage for my sleeping bag. <laughs> One of my uh, backpacking sleeping bags. This is my summer bag. So that fits in there. So this is my fan in the uh, roof there. Yeah, cutting the uh, hole in the roof was a little nerve-wracking. <laughs> but I got the job done and uh, hasn't leaked once. Yeah. I... Did have an issue with this. It's the fantastic fan. Here is the knob that actually opens the vent, and I lost the screw that goes in there. So I have that on order from Amazon, so I'm just waiting on that. Yeah, so when my fan actually works, <laughs> it works really well. And if I leave the windows open a little bit and I have this blowing air out, it really creates some nice circulation of air through here. All right, looking towards the front of the van, I went ahead and I rolled up my divider up there and over here i have just some pockets that kind of hang on the back of the uh, passenger seat with uh, miscellaneous stuff 
One of my favorite things I did in the van is I installed one of those swivels that you put your passenger seat on where you can turn your seat around and have a lot more room. That's uh, it really opens the uh, area up and makes it very comfortable. All right, here's another look inside the van. Ah, I love having the bed on this side, the driver's side, and then having access to the shelves over here, having this nice wide open space in the middle. I can sit on the bed and access anything on the shelf. And then I have my desk over here with my kitchen area here. It's very, very comfortable. I'm really, really happy with it. I love it. So thanks a lot for checking out my van tour video. Uh, I am not a full-time van dweller. I am a weekend warrior. <laughs> um, I did take the van out west a couple years ago. I'm from the East Coast. I'm from uh, outside of Philadelphia. So yeah, I, I hit up Yellowstone and the Tetons and Arches and uh, Teddy Roosevelt, Crater Lake, uh, the Redwoods. But yeah, what I love most about this uh, camper van, my camper van, is just the insurance that I will never be homeless, uh, no matter what happens to the economy or, God forbid, if there's a another pandemic, um, yeah, I, I definitely feel like uh, there really isn't much of a safety net, so I, I built my own safety net. So yeah, I love it. I, I recommend it to anybody, especially if you're a backpacker. Um, if you're a backpacker, it's great to have one of these uh, vehicles you can sleep out of or just get comfortable in your vehicle, whatever vehicle you have. You know, um, you can drive to a trailhead at night after work on a Friday. You might have like an eight hour drive, sometimes 10 hour drive. You get to the trailhead, you crash, you crash somewhere near the trailhead and then Saturday morning, boom, you wake up, you're there, you're ready to hike. So anyway, yeah, thanks again for checking out the video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.